getting ready for my interview, and I already cut myself. I haven't cut myself in like forever. Look at that. It's like college or something. Or high school, but I didn't really have to shave all that much in high school, and then all this hair just kind of came out of nowhere. You know what I mean? Just came out of nowhere, and then I'm like a freaking grizzly. Freaking bear, man. Anyway, I have 20 minutes before my interview. Hello? Hi, Zoe. Hey, I, I, yeah, I can hear you. I can't. I can't see you yet, though. I see myself. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're coming. You're coming. Um, it's starting. Yeah, I can see you now. I can see you now. Sorry. Yeah. Um. Because like we have a power cut now. I mean, the whole building has no power at the moment. No oh. electricity at the moment. So this is why. It happens so suddenly. I have no idea. It we happen so suddenly. So I still it's just okay. want to come with you. Yeah. Do you want to do the interview now? Maybe or maybe we can choose another time to do it. Um, whatever you feel like. I I'm I'm good with doing the interview now. I just see a blank or a black screen, but uh, uh, we can. Are you ha I'm comfortable. Okay, yeah. then that's good. Yeah. Maybe I just turn off my camera and we have a video call then. So for today's interview, it contains three parts, okay? So first, I will tell you something about the company. Okay. Okay. And so in the second part, I would like you to introduce yourself to me, including your previous teaching experiences, um, um, any courses you have taught before, how many years have you been teaching? You could also tell me something about your previous students if you like, okay? Just that. Okay. Almost third part of the question section. Okay? Good? Okay. All right, so uh, my name's Christopher King. Um, I've been teaching around 10 plus years. Um, I am currently in Italy. My wife's Italian, so we're living here. Um, but I am from California. Um, You're Californian? I'm Californian, yes. So um, your nationality is American, right? Yes, but I, I am, okay. yeah, I was born and raised in California. Uh, I went to the University of Oregon where I got uh, a political science degree and a communications studies degree. And um, long story short, I've moved to Italy to teach English. And um, I first worked with uh, the British Institute for about five years. And uh, we taught in classrooms, I taught private lessons, um, and then eventually I worked, I uh, actually worked for two different British institutes, but it's okay. Uh, then I opened up my own business, uh, English Around the Corner, and I was teaching uh, privates, private lessons, and then I was also teaching uh, group lessons. and. Um, then I started uh, teaching lessons online using Skype, and uh, okay. I, I, I've been Sorry. doing that. Oh, it's okay. Um, I'm currently working with uh, another uh, Chinese company. Uh, I, I just started uh, uh, the beginning of this summer. I started uh, working for them. Um, but uh, now I'm only working from Wednesday and uh, Saturday. And it's probably a similar format. We're using uh, Class In uh, software, so it's pretty interactive where the kids can move objects and uh, they can color, you know, and, uh, you know, so if you can imagine a PowerPoint presentation and uh, we're teaching about the body or the face. Uh, they can move the nose 
to the face, and uh, you can give them uh, trophies for their uh, accomplishment. So um, I do have a lot of experience online, and um, uh, I've noticed that uh, uh, you primarily use Skype and QQ. I haven't used QQ, um, so that would be my first question is, uh, uh, what, um, what do you use mostly? Do you use Skype mostly, or do you use QQ more of the time? So we have three class tours. One is Skype, okay? So as you use the share screen function, so both you and the student can look at screen, okay, can look at teaching materials, okay? And we also have QQ, that is QQ Chinese. You could be a QQ like the Chinese version of Skype, okay? Oh, okay. However, that's all in Chinese, I mean, that's all in Chinese characters. Oh. So this is optional. If you want to, you can use it. But if you don't like to, you don't feel like you're not feeling comfortable with that. You don't necessarily need to use that. And we have the third class tour that is the new platform. It is actually a link. Okay, we have a link for the teacher. We have a link for the student, and both links connect to the same online classroom and you need to learn to use that. Okay. Okay, good. That, that's great. Um, uh, I also noticed that um, there's an, uh, an option to uh, teach seven lessons per day. Seven lessons per day? Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I'm just going off of what we, the, advertisement was. We have students, like more than 200 students. All our students are Chinese students. However, the students, they have the freedom to choose what our teachers will like. Okay? okay. So normally we will ask the teachers to prepare a self-introduction video of their own advertisement to, I mean, attract more students. Okay? So we, and we prefer teachers to open lessons in our peak hours, that is from 6 to p.m. to 10 p.m. in the evening, okay? If you do that, uh, if you are good, and if you prepare yourself into the reduction we do well, then you can get lots of bookings. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, are um, the students primarily children from 6 to 14? Or are there also uh, adults? Sorry, what? Um, are the students mostly children? Or are there uh, adults and, and teenagers? Uh, it depends. We have different lessons. We have kids. Top three are daily English, business, and kids. Okay. okay, so we have kids lessons and we also have business lessons for adults. So the student age really vary. The youngest can be three years old, but all this is about 50 years old. It depends. It depends. And you can choose to teach adults or kids. Um, kids lessons are quite popular here. We don't have so much black students who want to learn business language. Most of our most of our lessons are kids. Okay, kids lessons are quite popular here. And yeah. daily, daily is a basic one. If you want to work here, you need to pass three demo lessons: just one daily, one daily or travel, one kids, and one business. Okay. Okay. Do you have a preference? Um. Uh, at the moment, uh, I don't have a preference. Uh, like I mentioned okay. before, um, the company I have a contract with before, but uh, I'm primarily teaching uh, children from 6 to 10 years old. Okay. Uh, but my previous experience was mostly with adults. Um, you know, teaching okay, kids. I, I understand now. So I'm, I can do both. I can do both. And we want teachers to open at least 20 hours per week. Is that okay for you? That would be fine, yes. Okay, that's good. 
Um, do you have any other questions you want to ask me? Um, no, we answered uh, if it's just children and or adults, but it's both. Um, okay. Uh, no, I. I um, how do I uh, get started? Do we do we sign a contract uh, with each other, or how how does it work? Uh, so first you need to pass three demo lessons, okay? Okay. If you pass them all, and um, then we can decide to pay. Because we need to um, decide the teacher's pay according to his um, educational background, previous teaching experiences, plus performances in demo lessons, okay? I haven't told you our pay of the company, right? It's from 8 to $15 for native speakers, okay? What's your expected payment? Um. I would expect about uh, fifteen euro or fifteen dollars an hour, based on my fifteen dollars. Yeah. Yeah. That is a maximum. I mean, the top way offered to teachers for new starters, it's quite difficult to get. You might get twelve or thirteen, and um, if you show good performance in half a year, like no absence records, and um, students like you, then you can be increased to fifteen. Okay? okay, and normally we will like that. And if you teach kids, there will be 10, I think 15 percent bonus if you teach kids lessons. And if you teach group, we have small group lessons. And you can get a top pay, top pay that is $15 per hour. Okay? Okay. okay. So I, I, I have to work, I have to, I have to work my way up. Majority of lessons, yeah? I have to work my way yeah. up until I can get that amount, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Majority of, less, of our, our lessons are one-on-one. -on -one. And we provide teaching materials to the teachers, okay? There are two major types of our materials. One is PowerPoint, you are quite familiar with. Another is PDF, just PDF, pictures, okay? Um, currently, we don't have our own like game-like software. Okay, we don't have that kind of application at the moment. Um, but so our kids' materials are quite good. Okay. Um, uh, when I'm doing a Skype lesson, is it possible to use um, in conjunction with what you're providing it, it, with your lesson plans? If it, let's say a child is not understanding. Uh, or an adult is not quite understanding the topic, could I use another um, another PowerPoint presentation to explain what I need to do, or would that be a um, violation? You are not allowed to edit the PowerPoint we offer, but you can type, I mean, type something in the chat box to explain. And you can find some related pictures if you need that. Or, or can I uh, like write a note? Because I have a, a tablet that connects to the computer where I can write. Uh, would I be able to write something or draw on the picture? Draw on the PowerPoint picture? Sure, sure, you can do that. Okay. But uh, you don't have, I mean, you can write anything on the PowerPoint using just Pencil, that pencil function when you when you place light show, that's really that's okay, totally fine. No worry about that. You're just not allowed to add it because you don't have the password to add it to PowerPoint. I can give you the password to open the PowerPoint. Okay? Okay. And just to be clear, there's three demo lessons. Uh, yeah, three demo lessons. Unpaid. Unpaid. Okay. And we have some trainings which are also unpaid trainings. Like if you want, if you later you want to um, teach IELTS or TOEFL, you also need to pass demos before you can teach them. Okay. And we offer trainings for you to be a group lesson teacher or first class teacher. Those are not paid. Okay. So how long is the training? 
on the training, I won't be more than five hours. I mean, all the training together won't be more than five hours. I think for it, uh, first you need to learn TRPS. If you can, I will send you a document explaining that TRPS, our own methodology for teaching daily English. And if you have no questions, you can understand the material well, then you don't necessarily need to take the training for TRPS. And you need to, if you want to be a first class teacher, you need to take the training. I think it will take you an hour, and as a group class, hours an hour. I think that's just all at the moment. Okay. And then, as far as uh, schedule, like, uh, do I give you my schedule uh, a week in advance? Yes, you need to do that. Normally, on every Thursday, teachers opens his next way to schedule. Okay. On Thursday. On Thursday, opens next week schedule. Open. And we have strict rules on cancellation. Teachers are not allowed to cancel a lesson with no good enough reason. Like you can cancel a lesson if you get sick or if there is no power in your place. However, you need to show evidence to cancel your lessons, okay? Okay, but um, I, I also have... Then you won't get penalties, otherwise you will get penalties for that. Okay, but what if uh, a client, because this has happened before with, with the company I'm working for and I've had a business for a while and um, where I do get cancellations from clients last minute. Yeah. So if what happens in, have, that, in that respect? If a student cancels a lesson between uh, before two hours of the class start time, I think you get uh, how much, I don't remember. I can send you a form explaining that if you need that. I would definitely need that. You get some conversation if a student cancels a lesson. Yeah. Not much, not much, but still there will be some. There would, okay. Because uh, how I do it for my business here is uh, I have a down, I have my clients have a down payment that they can get back. But if they skip a lesson, uh, let's say five hours beforehand, then they don't get the deposit back, right? So your own business is also English teaching. Yeah, that's what I do. I I'm basically working freelance, so I have uh, a couple companies that I have uh, contracts with, where um, I teach either online or or I go to their uh, particular mm -hmm. business here locally and uh, okay. teach them. Yeah, so uh, this is going to be one of many jobs that I could possibly do if it, if it all works out. Okay, okay. Do you have any other questions? Um, yeah, so when would the training uh, and demo lessons start? Next week? Um, I will be, for your first demo, it will be daily English and I will be your student, okay? And if you pass, you will have your second demo, maybe business, TRPS with another TA. Let me explain to you. TA represents for teacher's assistants. I belong to a TA group. TAs are responsible for recruiting teachers, okay? Okay. And, okay, so when I get started, what, do I contact you or do I contact another TA? You know, if I have... You contact me. Okay. All right. All right, and are you uh, the boss of all of uh, eHello or is there other... Uh, no, no, I'm not the boss at all. I'm just... A member of the TA group. You're just a member, okay. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, when would you like to schedule my first uh, demo lesson? When do you have time? Um, oh, uh, 
you want to try, let's see, today is Monday. Would you like to try tomorrow at the same time? Try to up tomorrow? Yeah. That's where we get. Tomorrow at yes. 11? Yeah. Alright, sorry, uh, 5 o'clock your time? Yeah, 5 p.m. and we're just fine. Alright, 5 p.m. tomorrow. Um, yeah. Do you have a lesson plan for me to use, or do you want me to use my own lesson plan? Yeah, I will send you the teaching material. Okay. I will send you later. When I go back to my desk, I will send you that. Your first lesson teaching material, I will send you that. Okay. And I will also send you the methodology explaining to you how to teach your first demo skills. Do you hear me clearly? Yes. If not, I can repeat that. No, I, I can hear you. Yeah, I will send you the material of your first demo lesson and also a document explaining how to teach, okay? Okay, and, and roughly how long is the demo lesson? Well, each lesson, it lasts 15 minutes, that is 5-0, okay? So, yeah. And for every demo lesson, it's also the same. It's 15 minutes. 15? And even for kids' lesson, it is 15 minutes. 50 minutes, okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, great. So, uh, I look forward to uh, talking with you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow then. Okay. Bye, have a good day. Alright, you too, Zoe. Bye-bye. Oh. Bye-bye. Okay, so I have a nether interview uh, tomorrow. <laughs> At the same time? Yeah, same time. But uh, this would be my first demo lesson. And then, uh, so I have a total of three demo lessons. So I probably have another one with another TA and then another one. Because it's not only uh, children that they're teaching, but also adults. adults but. Anyway, I know they have to, uh, you know, kind of fish uh, for their teachers, but this is kind of uh, kind of bogus too. I mean, seven lessons per day would be a little much, but so. But it's much? but we're not getting anything with. Uh, we're we're only getting two lessons, yeah. basically Wednesday and Saturday. But uh, we'll, we'll see how things uh, pan out. I couldn't even see her. I know, she said they didn't have any light in the beginning. The yeah, time. so that was kind of weird. And... Uh, well, she did ask you if uh, you wanted to reschedule. And she's going to send me some stuff. But I was pretty adamant about, like, okay, uh, I better have a, a good reason for canceling. Well... They have a be have, they better have a good reason for canceling as well, you know. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, Steffi was calling me. But uh, anyway, I, about the interview, um, yeah, it's not worth it. Um, I, I told her, Zoe, I, I think that's what her name was, that uh, I'm not going to. Uh, uh, it's not worth it for me, and. Uh, uh, we're just gonna move on but uh, they were promising uh, a lot of money but then I was gonna have to work a boatload of hours just to get that amount of money and uh, that's that's all she wrote all right let's get a coffee